Hello, and welcome back to the Miraculous Fanworks YouTube channel. We once again placed a survey in the Miraculous Fanworks Discord server asking members to submit their favorite Kwame Swap fanfics. All of the fanfics in this video have been invited to a collection on the archive of our own. The link to the collection can be found in the description below, as well as a link to the Miraculous Fanworks Discord server. Before we get started, do you like how we're doing? Let us know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Comments are also very much appreciated. Number 10. A Different Set of Miraculous Circumstances by Melty Macaroni Viperion has faced many a battle against Cat Blanc, with no backup. Finally, he is granted a partner, Multi Mouse. But how will Marinette Dupan Chang fare against such a terrifying opponent? And why are both superheroes and supervillains dropping in on her civilian identity for croissants and hot chocolate? Alternate universe where Luca is Viperion, and Marinette is Multi Mouse. Adrian is Cat Blanc, yo. Number 9. Send Me an Angel by Chaotic Neutral Adrian was Cat Noir, a lone hero forced to face off against the Ladybug Miraculous to protect a divided city that hated him. He was stuck fighting alone and only feeling more and more dragged down with each day and every battle that he ended up being blamed for. Until suddenly help started appearing in unexpected ways through the machinations of an unknown party only deemed as an angel or the lady. And while he doesn't know what to think at first, he can't deny it, things do seem to be getting better. But is she friend? Foe? And when things are at their bleakest, will he be willing to make that leap of faith? Number 8. The Adventures of Lady Luck, Book 1, by Cornerverse Lady Luck is the new hero, chosen to fight alongside Cat Noir and save all of Paris from the evil Hawk Moth. Only problem? Lady Luck isn't the best person outside of the costume. Perhaps, through becoming a hero and getting encouragement from some friends, she'll be able to fix that. Basically, an alternate universe scenario of what if Chloe was given the Ladybug Miraculous instead of Marinette. Number 7. Nino Lahif and the Road to Forgiveness by Ryoku Go. I hope I said that right. The veil has been lifted. The fog of lies dissipated. Well, for one person at least. Nino Lahif and he wants to make amends with Arinette, but it's not going to be as easy as smoothing things out like the cream of a macaron. Marinette's heart was big and would always have space for her childhood friend Nino in it, but his choice to initially ignore her words had hurt. Bad. Kagami didn't trust the boy with the red cap and the worn out headphones, but Adrian seemed to hold out for him, so she would trust his judgment. But she would keep an eye on him for Adrian and Marinette, and maybe that involved being around him for more than necessary and becoming his friend. He had a lot of work to do if he wanted to follow the road to forgiveness. An alternate universe born out of salt and a craving for a rare pair. It's not necessarily in direct chronological order. Some chapters will directly succeed each other. Number 6. Withered Wings by 11JJ11 Nino wasn't sure if anyone had ever willingly took the Akuma butterfly before him, but with his mind completely open to this apparent son of Hawk Moth, he knew that he couldn't turn him away. Not someone that was so afraid, not someone who would be left at the mercy of Hawk Moth. Number 5. Not a Good Look by Angel of the Queers In which Marinette, Adrian, and their friends accidentally stumble on secret identities galore through the implications of a grown man making a deal with a teenage girl. AKA, Gabriel's deal with Lila comes back to bite him where it hurts. Number 4. Echoing Balance by I'm the Punch Lord there's a great beauty in balance. Even if there are changes, some things will always stay the same, no matter what. Before we get into our top three, let's have some honorable mentions to the stories that did not make the top 10. Stitches and Stutters by Inky Coffee. It had been an accident. On his way home from patrol, swinging his way across the rooftops, he just so happened to pause for breath directly across the road from the Dupan Chang Bakery. And he just so happened to look directly across at Marinette's balcony just as Lady Noir landed and called out, claws in, leaving Marinette. In which both Adrian and Marinette are stuttering messes, Nino is there for his own entertainment, and Alia is along for the ride. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite enter my veins by Sagan's Jagger. When Marinette Dupan Chang accepted the Mouse Miraculous from Cat Noir and Ladybug to stand in as a new hero, Marinette expected that scurrying around the city would be fun. It would be easy, even if parts of the hero business weren't safe. 
What she hadn't counted on was how incredibly sexy her new partner was. What she hadn't counted on was Viperion, welder of the Snake Miraculous, staking a claim on her the second time they met. He liked to stalk her around Paris on the nights they ostensibly met up for patrol, intent on devouring her. What she hadn't counted on was how much the chase and fear would excite her. The First and Last Akuma by Annabear 2803 What happens if Hawkmoth sent out his Akuma just a little earlier to a girl who didn't want to have to start her first day of school? Sharks and Sugar by Fragile Izzy Mr. Bug's greatest downfall would be Marinette's eyes. He hoped Noir could forgive him for that. Adrian's greatest downfall would be Lady Noir's smile. He hoped Marinette could forgive him for that. In which Lady Noir keeps coming into Adrian's room after Akuma attacks and he just... lets her. Which is fine, really. He's more focused on other things, like Marinette. A sweet, kind, wonderful classmate who he just can't seem to talk to without stammering. His partner, Noir, is quickly becoming his best friend. But seriously, how bad can it be for the both of them if he continues to let her come over? A Miraculous Reversal and Love Square Reversal Alternate Universe. Crimson Beetle and Chartreux Noir by Symphonic Screen. With Hawk Moth wreaking havoc through Paris with his champion Akumas, the city must rely on their heroes to keep them safe from harm. Unfortunately for Paris, their heroes are a pair of feral jocks. Or a Qualmy Swap alternate universe where Kim gets the ladybug and Alex gets the cat, and everything that comes to be from that. Now, back to our countdown. Number 3. Lucky Fox Paradox by I'm the Punch Lord. After the failure with Stoneheart, Marinette had successfully given up the earrings and thought that was that. That she was done with the hero business. Done with anything miraculous. She was wrong, and her actions sparked off a great change of events. Number 2. Sting by Cryala Orchid. I hope I pronounced that right. When Cat Noir inexplicably disappears, leaving Ladybug behind to face Papillon on her own, a new welder is chosen to keep the Akuma from swarming. Ladybug is adamant she doesn't want another partner buzzing around, and why is this new bee flirting with her? Meanwhile, Adrian just wishes Ladybug would stop bugging out and listen to him because his bee puns are fuzz-tastic. The repercussions of the bee are farther reaching than anyone realized. And finally, number one, A Declaration of Love by I'm the Punch Lord. Adrian finally confesses to his crush, just not in the way he wanted to. Thank you for joining us in this adventure. If you would like to participate in our next Top 10 survey, please feel free to join us at the Miraculous Fanworks Discord server. The link can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a miraculous day. Want exclusive insights into upcoming server events and news? How about access to our VIP channel and a special role on the server? Or maybe a physical copy of a vinyl sticker sent to you each month? Interested? Check out our Patreon for more information. And don't forget to stay miraculous.